Hello students, welcome to my channel Engineers Academy. Now let's solve this problem 363. In this problem it is said that the horizontal steel shaft has a mass of 4 kg, 480 kg, right? So the weight is 480 into 9.81. So this is equal to 4709 newtons, right? And the weight will be acting at the midpoint of this bar right so this bar the length of this bar is uh, 3 plus 4 plus 1 right so overall length is 8 meters right so this means that uh, the weight will be acting at a distance of 4 meters right from either edge right so the weight will be acting somewhere here right so if if i represent that right so from this edge this distance will be 4 uh, me 4 meters right so this means that this distance will be this distance will be how much so this will be 1 meter right so let me write here as 1 meter right and this is that weight this is 4709 newton and it is said that and it is this steel shaft is suspended by a vertical cable from a and by second cable bc right so here we have two cables this is the this is cable a and let's say this is cable bc right so uh, this cable bc will have tension t2 and this cable a will have tension t1 right since this is a continuous cable so we are asked to calculate the tension t1 and t2 in these cables right so this t1 will be acting in this direction and similarly t2 will be acting like this now if we apply the summation of moment about the y axis is equal to 0 right this is our y axis this is our x axis and z axis is acting downward right this is the z axis right this is y axis so now to find the moment of uh, these tensions about the y axis we have to observe these forces from this direction right so now as we can see that this weight is producing the moment about y axis is in this direction right and if we curl our right hand fingers in this direction so the thumb will point out in the negative y direction right so we will write that this is minus and the weight is 4709 and the perpendicular distance of this weight from the y axis is, is this 1 meters right so this is 1 meters we will multiply this with 1 right and similarly this t1 will produce the moment about y axis in this direction and if we curl our right hand fingers in this direction so the thumb will point out in the positive y direction so we will write plus and t1 and the perpendicular distance of this t1 from this y axis is, is this much distance right let's say that this is that o point so o a distance so o a distance is 4 meters right so we will multiply this with 4 and this is equal to 0 right so from this t1 equals to 4709 divided by 4 and this t1 equals to 1177 newtons right and now if now we know this t1 so t1 is 1177 newton now if we apply the summation of forces along uh, along the z axis is right so if i write that the summation of forces along the z axis is equal to 0 and let's say that this point is point P, right? So then as we can see that if we consider this BOP triangle, so then this T2 is making theta with the Z axis. Let's say that this is theta angle, right? So then as we can see that both of these T2 will have components in the positive Z direction, right? Uh, in the negative Z direction, right? So we will have uh, one, two t2 components in this direction and both are the cos components right so we can write that there will be one component of this t2 the cos component of this t2 in the negative z and the cos component of this t2 in the negative z and since t2 magnitude is same right so we can write that this will be minus 2 t2 cos of theta and this t1 is also acting in the negative z direction so i will write minus t1 and the weight is acting in the positive z direction so i will write plus w and this will be equal to zero so now since we know this t1 and w so we can find t2 once we find this theta right so we can find this theta by applying the tan theta right so we can write the tan theta in this triangle so this is the perpendicular for this theta so then we can say that tan theta will be 1.5 this is 1.5 this ob length is 1.5 
divided by this base. So, this base is 3 meters, right. So, we can write that 10 theta is 1.5 divided by 3.5 and this theta will be equal to 10 inverse 1.5 divided by 3. This is 3, right. So, divided by 3. So, from this theta equals to 26.57 degrees, right. So, now we can find T2 from this equation, right. So, we can write that minus 2 T2 cos of 26.57 and this will be equal to plus T1, right. So, we'll, T, T1 will become plus. So, we will write T1 is 177 from here and minus weight. So, weight is 4709, right. And T2, we can find T2 if, if we divide this by minus 2 cos of 26.57 degrees. So, from this T2 is equal to 1974 newtons, right. So, this is the solution of this particular problem.